Take a piece of thin card, any colour you like but a plain colour, and then fold it in half to create a Christmas card shape, and then cut another piece of card slightly smaller than the front of that first card, and if you can, get a different colour. And then take that piece of card and draw a circle on it. Draw a circle in the middle, and the idea is to draw your Christmas card design on that circle. Now, you're going to be doing a fat Christmas card, so do a design of something that's fat. And at this time of year, what's fat? Father Christmas. Use the circle for his tummy. So I'm just going to do the detail of his tummy onto that circle. And he can do other fat Christmassy things, such as a robin, maybe a snowman, maybe even a Christmas pud. But the idea is to just make it nice and fat and plump and round. And once you've put the fat bit in, put the rest of the detail around your circle. Uh, just do his beard and his moustache and his jolly round face. Again, nice and plump. And his little cartoony eyes in there. Just keep it really simple, nothing too detailed. <laughs> Just put a nice chubby hand in here with all the fluffy white bits around. It's quite easy to draw Santa, isn't it, really? And once you've done that, cut out the middle bit, just the bit that's in the circle. And the best way to do that is to pop a sharp pencil through it like that to get your scissors in. And cut that circle out so that you have something that looks like that. And don't worry about ruining that middle bit, because you won't need it in the end, but just put it to one side for the time being. Then take a piece of thin drawing paper and soften it up by crunching it up and opening it out. And the idea is to make it very soft by creasing it loads of times. Now, you won't believe it, but I've been doing this one all day. And look at that, it's really nice and soft now. It's got loads of creases in it. And then put this on the back of your card. And this piece of thin paper needs to be just a bit smaller than your card. And the idea is to line it up on the back and just press the middle through the middle of your card. See that, the way it's going through? And when you're happy with that, turn it over and tape it into place. Now, I'm just going to tape it really quickly to show you. You can put loads of tape on and make it nice and secure. And then stuff it with scraps of paper or newspaper balls, and they're going in the back. And when you're happy with that, see that? Nice stuffing there, so it's nice and fat. Just tape all of that stuffing into place on the back, just to make it secure. And then put some glue, nice strong glue, around the back, a couple of dabs in the corner. Now, it looks a bit of a mess at the moment. But don't worry, because if you bring the other card back in, pop that into place, and then just position this very carefully over the card, and then press it into place. And all that glue squelching down, and his tummy is squelching out. And then put it to one side to dry. And when it's dry, you just bring that circle that you cut out back in, and then copy the detail from the circle onto your nice, fat tummy. And it doesn't have to be perfect or anything at this stage, because we're going to be painting it in a minute. And you just press very lightly with your pen. You don't want to go through the paper. And just put in all of that detail. Like that. And when you've done that, colour it in. Use felt-tip pens, paint, crayons, whatever you want. And this is mine. Look at that. I've used poster paint for that. There's his nice fat tummy, I've even painted that as well. And I've gone around all the detail with some black pen and I've done a border around the edge just to finish it off. And there it is, a fat Christmas card. And you can do any Christmassy design you like, as long as it's fat, plump and round. Oh, and there is one other thing. Make sure you do your card so it stands up this way, not that way. Otherwise, it'll fall over because it's too fat. <laughs> Try it yourself, a fat Christmas card.